What's up, guys? Welcome to the third match here with Just Got Delver. I know the second one was a bit short, so uh, let's hope this one goes a little better. Uh, yeah, this looks like a nice... I mean, four lands, but we have a lot of removal. Um, might be relevant, might not be. If it's a blue deck, hopefully we can draw Geist, um, which would be nice. Uh, alternatively, <laughs> I'm always scared of Blood Moon. This could be Blue Moon. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and just lead on Scalding Tarn. Uh, if I need to get a basic island, I will. Although, one of these will probably have to get red. Opponent goes on Serum Visions. Thought Scour. Okay. This could be some sort of... Oh, Thought Scour me? Is this Mill? This could be Mill, right? Maybe it was a misclick? Alright, that's that's the... Oh, I, don't, I don't know what's going on here. Ancestral Vision? Thought Scour? This Grixis control? Usually you're supposed to mill your opponent. No? Am I wrong? I mean, mill mill yourself, not your opponent. Anywho. I don't think it's Blue Moon. Considering they have a Bloodstained Mire in their deck. Um, I'll go ahead and lead on Serum Visions here. Geist is great. And then, in the hope of sticking a turn three Geist, let's go ahead and just uh, let our opponent do... Alright, so they're not... Lately, Grixis Control doesn't really play Mana Leaks, though. They play a lot of removal. So, I'm going to go and jam it, see if it's the stock lists. Yep, uh, they're probably digging for Mana Leak. Alright. Fantastic. Again, they're milling us, which makes our Snapcaster Mage better. Alright, so this, this is how we beat Grixis Control. Um, go, go to town with Geist. And if they have a Snapcaster Mage here, we'll probably go ahead and just uh, Helix it. No Snapcaster Mage. Alright, this game could be over very quickly. Um, I do find my opponent's Thought Scours to be very odd. Really odd. Um, I don't know if I'm missing something right now, or if, or if legitimately that's, that's, that's how they play. Um, let's see, do we have lethal here if we go helix? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and helix face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a sacred foundry here. I think our opponent should be dead, unless they have something like, sp even spell snare, like, doesn't kill us, kill doesn't kill us, right? Um. And I kind of want to do it before they start drawing a bunch of cards off of their Ancestral Vision. Alright, so here... Hmm. If they had Spell Snare, they probably would have Helixed it. Uh, used it on Helix, right? Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Mana Leak? And if they have Spell Snare, they probably Spell Snare here. Alright, they're just going to concede. Great, great, great. Um, Relic is pretty good against them. Ideally, it should be. Uh, negates and Dispels and Click all should be really solid in this matchup. Um, Shadow of Doubt, not really. Uh, extra Helix, kind of unnecessary. In fact, Helix... Mostly not a not a great card in this matchup. Um, not sure if we need mana leak with all of these as well. It kind of it gets pretty dead in the late game, and maybe cut one path uh, or cut one. I think bolt is important in helping Geist push through Snapcaster Mages, and feels pretty bad to path a Snapcaster Mage. Um, so I'm going to cut one path, even though they may be running Tassigers things like that. I think three paths should be plenty. 
Alternatively, we could cut a remand, but remands are really good in the blue mirrors, like counter your own spell, draw a card. Um, I love doing that um, in uh, Just Kai Sahili, when you, you, you basically remand your main counter spell, and in the blue mirrors, it works over time. Uh, so that's going to be the goal here. Hopefully, we can land a turn one threat. No turn one threat, but we have the Geist, the turn three Geist. And alternatively, we can go also um, click first. Ooh, Delver. Uh, I like that. I mean, I'll lead on Delver. If they want to use a removal spell, they can use a removal spell. That's one less removal spell for click. And for all we know, they sighted out some number of bolts, too, um, which would be pretty good for us. See what they're up to here. Um, probably want to. Uh, don't want to reveal flooded strand. I will play Eric Mesa just in case I need to like bolt a naked snapcaster here. All right, just one damage it is. See if our opponent wants to thought scour themselves this time. Still thought scouring us. It's okay. I think they're learning. This is uh, <laughs> maybe a good learning process for our opponent here. Um, oh, there goes relic, which is pretty pretty good. Would would have been a pretty good card. Uh, also, good important to note that we did lose one of our secret foundries. Uh, so it's important to maybe get our steam vents um, pretty soon. Alternatively, we could keep this around um, to combo with the scry. I think we will. It kind of make uh, Delver a scry effect. Uh, yes, reveal path. And I think I do want to draw it. So step one, let's attack. And I think I'll just click on their draw step. Uh, just in case not to run into like a counter spell. They're gonna push the Delver, let's go Surgical Extraction, uh, well, that's annoying, um, yeah, I mean, there goes my Path to Exiles from the deck, um, but they're still not answering my, my Delver, so, um, maybe Click can reveal what they have in hand and, and kind of let us know what's going on, because, this is, it's, I mean, the fact that they were able to get something with Surgical, Maybe the is that one? Is that why they why they did that? Um just get an island. And we'll click them. See what they're working with. Dispel, Dreadbor, Cryptic Command, Snapcaster Mage. Um, let's see. I don't really care about Dispel. Dreadbor is definitely annoying, uh, but I think it's going to be between Snapcaster Mage and Cryptic Command here. Um, let's see. Snap. Snap Dreadbor is definitely a line that they have down the road. Um, still, if they want to answer my board, yeah, I think I'll, let's go ahead and snip this, just so we have access to it. Um, Snapcaster Mage, of course, the most value card. The rest aren't great. Yeah, I think we just take Snapcaster Mage.
and they just concede. Oh my god. Um, yeah, they would have been forced to dread bore here if they want to maintain their life total, or they can keep up cryptic to tap our team. Uh, but then if they do that, then we geist. Uh, and so they were definitely under a lot of pressure. The fact that dread bore was not a terminate is actually very relevant because they can't like end step it. Um, in case we don't play the geist, you know. So, um. I think this deck has a really great matchup against Grixis Control, especially because of Geist. You saw that in Game 1, and you probably would have seen it somewhere along in Game 2. Um, overall, uh, I think this deck has a great matchup against traditional Grixis Control, um, and probably has a decent matchup against Death Shadow too, but, you know, we, we're yet to see that. Uh, so that was um, Match 3. Again, slightly quick, but you got to see how the deck performed, uh, and I'll give you maybe one or two more matches here with Jeskai Delver. Uh, so stay tuned for that.